Morning, everybody. We're here. It is Wednesday. We are now going to use Wednesdays as our recruiting informational day. So, especially for our Gator guys, one of the things we're doing for our high school guys, Joe, um, is they're all going to be on the recruiting stuff that we're doing. Okay. Part of the reason for that is we don't really know what's coming up in May and June and July. It's still up in the air. Right. So we want to make sure that freshmen, sophomores, obviously the juniors, we're giving them you know, advice, all sorts of things that they can use going through the process and then help them manage the process because it's going to be different. Um, would you agree? The process has changed a lot yep. and we don't know where it's going to be yep. uh, within the next month. Yep. So those of you guys who don't know, this is Coach Tonelli. Um, How are you? Coach Tonelli and Coach Delellis run the high school part of the Gator program. Coach Tonelli has been in college baseball 26 years now? 28. 28 and years. A half. And a half years. Um, so I, Joe is probably um, one, of the, one of the most versatile college coaches um, in the area, if not the Northeast, if not the country. Um, spent, uh, and you started when you were 24? 22. So right out of college, had the his first job was Albertus Magnus College. Albertus Magnus Division Three, right down the road, right? Yep, thirteen years. Thirteen years, no field. Quigley. Quig oh Quigley, okay. But no practice. No practice. No, nope. you're used to that. Yeah, you're used to that. Um, thirteen years there, a couple championships toward the end, right? A couple championships, an NCAA Division Three regional yep. berth. Yep, and then um, moved on to. Division One Quinnipiac, um, which we coached against each other, which was neat because uh, Joe and Coach Gooley came in, Skip, um, and the program was in rough shape. You guys had five or still like five or six wins before you guys got there. Yeah, and then just you know it was it was just you know and every program goes through, it. and so watching how quickly you and Skip and Scarp turned that ship around was pretty neat to see. That was fun. So Division One, um, Division One baseball program. Um, so from Division Three to Division One, again, three years after three years championship. Uh, no, Imagine. my first year there. So it was the first year. My first year there. Okay. It was uh, Gooley's second year. Mm -hmm. um, my first year there, we were fortunate enough to go to the NCAA Division One. Division One, awesome. And then but I know a bunch of kids get signed. We had uh, seven signed on yep. that team. And then uh, eight more the two years after, yep. and I was there for five. So a whole different, whole different dynamic, different world. Yeah. So I remember Wilson Matos and Randy Grass. I mean, those kids were athletes. They were players. They could, uh, and they were all. Wilson was was Long Island, right? Uh, Wilson was uh, New York City. Yeah. Um, Randy local. Randy was uh, uh, Notre Dame and Fairfield. Yep. yep. And uh, Brian Sabatello yep. was Long Island. Yep. He was the 6'9", uh, Phenom, yep. no, he was 6'6". 6'9", six, six. Yep. Uh, was uh, Patty Ewing. Yeah. Third, who was the third baseman? Sabatella. That was Sabatella, right? Yeah. Okay. He was good. Fifth round of draft choice. He was good. Um, so, and then, you know, post Quinnipiac, it's been 10 years, do you think? Yeah, this is my 10th, just finished 10 years. Yep. Championship a couple years ago? A couple years ago, NCAA Division II yep. regional. I can say so. Joe and Mike, uh, since Mike started as assistant, um, these guys you know, have been part of the Gator program and the core program since the beginning, um, which has been neat to see. The one thing, and there's been ups and downs. You guys sometimes have had the big injury bug. I mean, there's been some highs and lows, but as low as it's been, always in the playoffs. Every year. Every year. Like, always in the playoffs, always competing for a championship. I remember there was. Two years ago, I think you lost all the nine guys. Start uh, nine. No, that was uh, Johnny Ascendia's uh, senior year. Yep. Um, we lost seven shortstops. It's crazy. Yes. And just so you guys know, every college program, every college team, you, you may play shortstop in high school. Um, and there's a somebody gets hurt. You need somebody else. So you got <laughs> you're gonna find every college roster is filled with. Shortstops, middle infielders, um, you know, it's just kind of the way it goes. So, um, so I figured we'd spend, I got a couple questions for you. Sure. And this is, you know, helpful. So, you know, 
know, you have a Division Three championship perspective, Division Two championship perspective, and a Division One championship perspective. Done it successfully at all three levels, um, and um, so I think I think these questions are good for some of our newer guys, our freshmen, sophomores, and even our juniors too to listen to to, to hear from the horses come up. We always don't always have time to sit down like this and talk to all the guys, but I think it's helpful. Um, so my first question is. Um, so if you could name, you know, you're out, you're recruiting, um, and I don't know if it changes for Division One, Two, or Three. The three things that when you go out and you recruit guys, and you're watching and evaluating guys, three most important things that you're looking for as a head coach. Well, number one, you look for athleticism. I mean, you want to get a kid that's uh, very athletic, versatile. Mm -hmm. um, you want to look at arm strength. You want to look at feet work, uh, footwork, um, batter's box presence. Mm -hmm. um, depending on what setting you're in, it varies what you're looking at. Yeah. So Division One, Division One, the, the absolute honest truth, the, the, the difference between the three levels mm -hmm. is the speed of the game, mm -hmm. the strength of the kids, mm -hmm. and the consistency of the better baseball player. Um, consistency in pitching. Mm -hmm. um, Division one, you're going to have four legit starting pitchers. Mm -hmm. Division two, you're going to have two legit starting pitchers, two good starting pitchers. Right. Division three, you're lucky if you get one, if not two, right. high level pitchers, yeah. meaning a good hard fastball three pitches, four pitches, throwing for strikes with consistency. Right. Um, hitters making more consistent contact. Right. You know, but basically it's the speed of the game mm -hmm. and the strength and the consistency and the difference. All right, so first thing is, is skill set, right? You're going in, you're looking for tools, arm strength, uh, hit a, I like the way you said it, batter's box presence. Yes, how you look in the batter's box, yeah. what you're doing, what your approach is. Um, how are you handling it in a game situation? Mm -hmm. How are you handling the strikeout, yeah. body language? Yeah. Um, and how do you handle, you know, 85 plus? That right? too. Right? So it's like you're watching a kid in the box and when he faces a fastball that's 83, 84, 85, you're getting matched. Right. right. So you're, you're looking at all that and, yeah. you know, at each of the different levels, you're looking for the higher level. All right, and then, so we'll call, we'll say, skill set. We'll say that as one, right? So the tools. Tools. Okay. It's hard to, to look at, but we try to evaluate the personality of okay. the kid, the character mm -hmm. of the kid. How is he successful? Yeah. How is he like when he's failing? Mm -hmm. um, we try to get word of mouth on how the kid is. And you can tell, I mean, if he kicks a ball, is he, is he throwing his glove, right. you know, how in body language, that kind of thing. Who do you, so when you, do you check on guys? Like when you yeah. say, oh, so yeah. who, like maybe like who, what, you know, I mean everybody has influences, coaches, like who do you call to find out, who's the first guy you're going to call on a kid? Depends where he is, yeah. um, or what he is, but we call high school coaches, we'll call summer league coaches, mm -hmm. we'll call directors of the program, mm -hmm. we'll call friends of ours, um, as far as our players, yep. um, our players' parents have contacts, yep. so it's, it's you never know, yep. you never know where a coach is going to be, you never know who's watching you, mm -hmm. so, you know, character, character. All right, so we got skill set, we got character, I think you kind of, maybe the first part of it, you mentioned it quick, but, you know, athleticism, athleticism is Speed is huge. Yeah. Um, you say that's one? Probably. Okay. Probably in, in an order. Okay. You know, um, you want to get the most athletic kid. Like we said, you know, one year we lost seven players due to injury mm -hmm. after playing shortstop. Mm -hmm. Who's the next at most athletic kid that you have? Right. Similarly, those seven kids played other positions. Yeah. So they're diverse. They're athletic enough to go either play infield, play outfield, yep. 
interchangeable parts. All right, so here's, this is kind of off script. I didn't, um, I didn't, uh, you know, we talked about some of the stuff we're gonna talk about. This is off script. It's, oh, easy, it's an easy one. one. It's an easy one. one. Yeah, easy. It's an easy one, yeah. I swear. So like in, in your program, how often does it happen where, and this is good for everybody to hear, yeah, you've done a division one, two, and three successfully. How often does it happen where you come in as a shortstop or a first baseman or a center fielder um, and you play the exact position that you played in high school? How often do they move, like when they get to the college level, not too often. Not too often unless you're a specialty now. Yeah. Um, a left-handed first baseman, right. you're going to play first base. Right. Um, my starting second baseman last year's team, mm -hmm. uh, Ryan Donnelly, who's a freshman, um, he was a shortstop in high school mm -hmm. and pitcher at Fairfield Ward. Yep. Um, came to us, wanted him to pitch a little bit, needed him to play second base. Mm -hmm. This year, he was my center fielder. Yep. Um, Logan Allen. He was a third baseman in high school. He was, I didn't know that. Yeah, he played third base in high school. Yep. Logan is our shortstop. Right. Um, and Logan developed more here um, in the power court. I mean, his times are ridiculous. Yeah. Um, he's a freak out. I've watched him in there with yeah, David Murr. He's a freak. Right. And he's got a freak here. Like, it's funny yes. to watch him. He's um, got a different gear. Yeah, he's crazy. got a different gear. Um, but that happens all the time. Yeah. Um, Connell Roberts. My third baseman actually played a little first base and second base mm -hmm. in high school. Yep. He played third last year, or two years ago when Logan was hurt, he played shortstop. Yep. Um, when I was at Quinnipiac, Johnny Delaney, who's yep. the head coach of Quinnipiac right now, um, for three years played third base. Yep. His freshman year, first game, he started out in left field. Really? Yes. Yep. So it happens all the time. Yep. And he, was, he, was he a shortstop in Provo? No. Uh, no, third I think base. third base or third base. He, they might have moved him to second. Yeah. But very good defensive yeah. player. Yeah, I remember John. He was. I remember the first because my last year or two at Yale, he was I think a freshman or sophomore. Sophomore by that time. Yeah, yeah. and he he was definitely you could see good here. Not a big kid. No, no. Um, and but just pretty even. Like yeah, you know you wouldn't see he wasn't very high or very low. Um, but he wasn't. Consistent. He wasn't that kid. He didn't stand out. And be like, that kid's gonna be a good kid. No. You, when you watch him, but you watch him, and you said it earlier, the consistency. Mm -hmm. uh, watching a kid just be able to just make every play, make every play. And his brother played for the Pirates. Oh, he did. Yeah. 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 He knew him well. Yeah. Older brother. Yeah. Um, all right. So, kind of last question. So that's in terms of evaluations. You know what you would look at in those places. Um, so, I'm a student athlete. Junior, I'm interested in University of Bridgeport. I'm interested in Quinnipiac. I'm interested in Alberts. Um, I want to contact you. All right. Um, on your, from your perspective, what's the best way to do that? Emails. Okay. Emails. Um, have a coach reach out. Mm -hmm. um, coaches' evaluations are always good. So getting a coach to, to say, hey, look, this kid's going to be reaching out. A recommendation. Okay. Yep. A recommendation. If you're going to do it yourself. Nice little short email. Um, you know, definitely introduce yourself, who you are, where you're from, what school you're at, position you play, some baseball statistics. Yep. But for us, definitely your academic stats. Okay. Your GPA, um, your SAT scores, PSAT scores. Um, if you're doing AP classes, mm -hmm. um, you know, what kind of grades yep. do you have? Um, all that helps in starting the process. Um, but who knows what's gonna happen right now. Yeah. Um, right now, I think the dead period just lifted, okay. even though we can't do anything. Um, we can't have on-campus visits right now. Um, but that's the best way to do it uh, to start. Short, long, short. Quick. Short, the okay. longer they are, the <laughs> easier they are to delete. So I'll say this, and Joe, you mentioned um, academic information. Yes. I can attest to this because um, we've talked a lot about it and I know previous assistants that you've had would get excited mm -hmm. about this guy throws 90, this guy, and then you look at you look at the whole picture and the academic part of it and it's like, yeah, he's a 2-1 two, two and he's, yeah. and, and uh, you know, Joe's been around and... Um, they don't need jerk-offs anymore. <laughs> 
That's sorry. Do I have to edit that out? No, no, no. no. I don't think I need to. So, but you know, it's true. It's yeah. it, it, sometimes you know if you, if you can't make it in high school and you're gonna now go away from home. And I know you you kind of live that. Yeah, so. it's it's tough. I mean, baseball, college baseball is it's a lot of time. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of time. We're only allowed two to three hour practices a day, but in order to get better, you need to work more. Mm -hmm. So you need to have the time management skills, and if you are a 2-1, 2-2 student, you're not gonna have that time management skill. Right. If you can't do it across the street in the academic building, you're not gonna do it on our side right. in the athletic world. Right. And again, I don't need the headaches. I don't need teachers calling me saying, well, Johnny Jones didn't come to class today. Not doing it. So the higher end kids is what we're yeah. looking for. So short, quick email. Yeah. Um, a company that you can get a reference to call or email for you as well to follow up with and say, hey, give me a call and this kid was pretty good. Um, and then academic info, you know, position, high school, height, weight, contact info. Um, how much statistics? Just basic, yeah. basic statistics to start. Yeah. You know, hey, I'm a power guy. You, you know, here's my home runs, here's my dives. So if, uh, if I have one home run, don't know really no, that. No. But if you have eight home runs, yeah. you know that. Yeah, if you have 10 stolen bases, right. that shows, all right, well, he might be fast. Right. Or he could run the bases. Right. Um, you know, anything positive. Yeah. You know, don't, don't waste time. Yeah. If, you're a, if, you, if you run a, a 7 7 60 yard dash and then you're a shortstop and you're 5 foot 6. Yeah, no, don't, don't include it. Don't include that info. No. Yeah, that's not going to no. get That's not going to get your nose in the right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, hey, if you throw 82 to 83 on a good day, you know, uh, yeah. But if you're a left hander doing right. that, yeah, we want you. Right. All right, and that's cool. We can get get more into stuff like that as the weeks go, but you know, what's what's I thought this was just a one time. No, no, this is this is oh, the weekly corner with Coach Sinelli. Oh, absolutely. Great. Oh, great. absolutely. Great. So, I, I would normally shake your hand, but we're still going to respect uh, yes. social distancing. Um, appreciate you coming and doing this with us. No I know our guys will do it. Um, and maybe we'll get Coach Dallas in here a little bit too to talk a little bit. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. Um, but uh, thank you. Thank you for doing it. Anytime. All right. Thanks. Thank you, Coach.